it's Wendy from Jump To It Designs. Um, this video of behind the sticker, we're going to talk about blades, the Silhouette Cutting Blades. These give me the most headache. I literally, about once a week, want to toss them out the window. And in the past, a couple years ago, I literally wanted to toss myself out the window. So that's why we're talking about this today, because this almost made us stop our Etsy sticker shop and just do something else, because it was so maddening. When we first started, we didn't have that many cutters. Maybe we started with three or four, or five. well, now we have more than that. But say we had four, but we tried to, um, you know, follow the silhouettes guides and the online label guides for the cutting cut setting. And for some reason, some were working, some were too deep, some were, uh, weren't deep enough, and we could just not get it right. And by the way, I know you're looking at this. This is Amy, obviously you know Amy who works here. She's always saying, I'm sorry, about 10, 20, 30 times a day. So that's there for Amy. So back to the cutters. Um, so it would go on for years. We just could not get it right. And finally, I realized I'm gonna treat each cutter as an individual cutter and not follow the silhouette settings and just do whatever setting that they're comfortable on. So when I started to think of them as more individual rather than as one, because silhouette recommends, they call it thickness. And they say like, which more of a sense of like pressure, how much the blade is pushing down through the paper. So they recommend on these models, these are the older ones, uh, a thickness of four. So we tried that, it didn't work whatsoever. I contacted Silhouette through a chat, which is the only way you can contact them. And they were not helpful at all. So I knew I was on my own. So I made up these sheets. So what I do, and I have scraps of cutting, uh, cutting mats that I use. This will be another video that we do. We don't use Silhouette cutting mats. Again, they're too expensive. So we buy generic. They're made by 12 by 12 for you know the bigger machines, the cutting machines, but I cut them down and I then have these scraps. So I use these little ones. I uh, put my strips down and then I put them into a cutter. Can't see without my glasses. And then I have my um, program I have right here already has it set up. Like this first square is at three, four, five and on. And the same thing here. So then I literally click it and let it run. There it goes. So now they'll go through and I have it cutting circles and squares and circles mainly because there's so many circles. All right. So when it's done, obviously take it out, pull it off, pull down the glasses necessary when I get anything done. And now I have all of my circles and squares, all at different cutting depths. And so I literally go from one, I kind of feel if it's um, how it feels, but then I check the circles. I keep bending them over to see where they're cutting too deep, which, and you can see the bottom part, is peeling up. So when I get one, I see it's cutting too deep. Say this one is the nine is cutting too deep. Then I know I'm gonna cut it on setting eight, which is it's eight right now. And then here, if it was cutting too deep, say on six, then obviously that one would be a five, like this one is a four. So we then put the numbers on. These are all on eights. This is 13, obviously 10 and four. Now remember, Silhouette recommended the cut setting for these machines at four. And some of them wanna work on 13. So and eight, like they're all over the place. And by doing this way, it has made our lives so much easier. I can finally breathe and get, even though we do have broken blades, I said we break them a lot a day, but at least it's more manageable. They can all run on their, do their own thing. But so the 13 one cuts the same paper as the one on a four, cuts it exactly the same, just each machine works differently. So knowing what each individual cutter works the best on, I can then go up on my silhouette and you can see here, I have a default setting. So whatever cutters are working the most on, so here it's eight, eight is my default. So default, when I click on that, it's going to show that that's cutting, the thickness is eight. And then I just make all different cut settings. So when I set, even if I set, um, send the same file to be cut, each one, like these will all be on eight, these will all be on their own individual settings. Yes, it takes more time but it's only seconds. Originally, we started using the Silhouette Blades and it was a nightmare. The cost of the blades for like $9 and we go through, the, we, we're cutting all day and the, the tips break, it's just, it happens. So, and we were spending 60, 70, $80 a day in blades, which obviously was not sustainable. And that's why we're about to quit because we couldn't afford to do it. Keep going on and on with that. Especially now that we added more cutters. And then I also changed the blades since I couldn't afford to keep using silhouette blades. I researched and researched and researched out the kazoo and found this of uh, these other blades, the called Grip, 
graphite blades, I think I'm saying that right, but they're literally just a blade and then you have the housing, the holder. So I buy these and these stay and I just replace the blades when they break. So these are a dollar, so much better than $9 because they're, they're gonna break. So we could go through sometimes three blades a day, blades a day, or maybe 10, 12. So at least I'm only losing say 12 at the most rather than 100 or eight, it doesn't matter, like 60, 70, 80, 100. So this is much more economical. You want to use 45 degree uh, blades. They have 30 and they have 60 and I think the 45 ones work the best. And you can see here, these are all our old blades because you don't want to throw them in the garbage. That's not right. So all my old blades go in here and you can see how many we have. It's crazy. This is an old uh, salt grinder, you know, works perfect. I drilled a hole in the top, stick it in and it, they won't come out. All right, now to check the depth of the blade, it's so tiny that I can't, I can't see it with my naked eyes, even with my reading glasses. So what I do is I take, I have this 10, I think this is 60 times magnifying glass. So I literally just look through it to see if the tip is broken. If something say it's not working properly, so I know if the tip is broken or it's just, we've used it maybe for a week and it's just worn out. So they not gonna last forever. Paper actually does wear down a blade, hard to believe. So then I know it's, um, you know, time to get a new blade. And the other way, when I'm loading new blades and I'm checking the depth, because it only has to be half the thickness of a credit card above the housing, the nose. So what I do for that, it's a very funny looking thing, but I take my glasses off, I put on this thing, put it on, strap it on. Now I look like this. Take my credit card and my blade, because I, I need to have two hands. So I literally hold it up and if it's too low or too high, I just uh, rotate this to the right depth to have it at half or just slightly below. And then when they're all done, I put them in my, these are all good blades in here. And then where blades go bad, they all go in uh, this one. And then this is time to these, all these to have new blades in it. And then I load them up maybe once a week. When we first were having all the problems with the cutters, um, we actually named them <laughs> characters from shows that we, the characters that we hate. Like we have Dennis, Kate, Debbie, Joffrey. Dennis was from Always Sunny in Philly. Joffrey from uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> we just could not stand these cutters. They were driving us bananas. So it was kind of made humor before we actually got, went crazy. And the other thing is that every time I finish cutting something or right before I'm starting something new, I always, every single time, I have to take out each blade every time. And because the online labels, the weatherproof matte paper is a, gets, generates a lot of dust, the blades are almost always clogged with dust because they have to first cut the inside sticker and then they cut the outside all the way through. And the all the way through is what makes a lot of dust. So it gets very clogged. And if I didn't use my compressor to blow them out like that, then the next time they wouldn't work properly. And then sometimes also a little residue, sticker residue will be on the top of the nose. So if that happens, I take my little Q-tip, ah, and I got a little prescription container with a hole in it and I have some like a uh, window cleaner. I stick that in, it's a little wet, and I literally go and clean that off. But every single time I have to blow out the blades, it's maddening, but if I don't do it, then it will get clogged up and it won't work. So it's a, you know, nature of the beast. I hope you enjoyed our video featuring the blades. Any question, feel free to reach out to us and I hope I can answer your question. I hope this little video focusing on the blades was helpful. Oh my God, hold on, let me get water. <laughs> okay. I hope this little... <laughs> oh, I hope this video... Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, now I'm like, I'm not gonna come back and be like, <laughs> hey! like too much, like too I know, much. he's like, we're gonna have it in between. <laughs> is helpful to you. If there's any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to call me. I'm, <laughs> call me. <laughs> call me. Um, are you ready? Yep. Oh, I hope you. <laughs> okay.
Okay. I hope you enjoyed our video featuring the blaze. Um, if you have any, <laughs> sorry, what? I was like, that. It's like, what? Good. That was really bad. That was my fault. I don't know why. I was okay. expecting you to crack, and I was just like, I don't know. Okay. I hope you enjoyed our. <laughs> I really like though you went right into it. Uh -huh, you like that? Oh, you'd be like, you'd be like this. I'm walking. We're doing my step. Oh, we're still filming. Oh I hope. <laughs>